What's going on guys? It's Dan here and welcome to a very, very highly anticipated game unboxing and that is Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh man, today, September 17th, uh, it actually is what, about 12.30 in the morning, just got back from the midnight launch and yes, 12.30 and I got back just now. And keep in mind, how many people actually pre to this game? I've never seen a midnight launch with this many people there. Like the doors, like I, I, my, my EB Games is in a mall, so the, the, like all these people were lined up right to the back of the doors and the store isn't right inside the entrance. It's like way far down in one of the main wings of the mall and it went all the way back towards the, the main, the doors where they, that they keep open, so. I was number 38 in line because I pre rung earlier today. Good thing I had uh, the day off or I wouldn't have been able to do that. So anyways, we have ourselves a copy, actually two copies of Grand Theft Auto V. Why do I have a second copy? Well, one was a birthday gift from my bro. He just turned 24 uh, Sunday. Yeah, so I said, yo, I'll pick you up GTA V. I know you want it. So that's that. Now, I didn't get any collector's editions or the limited edition or anything like that simply because I didn't feel like it was worth it. Yes, you get DLC, which is something I would have liked, but for the price tag, what you're actually paying for besides the DLC is mainly a big map and I believe some clothing. There's like a hat and t-shirt and I would never wear it and it wouldn't be worth the $150 price tag for the uh, special edition or the collector's edition and it wouldn't be worth, I believe it's 80 or 90 bucks for the limited. I mean, I guess I could have got that, but it just wasn't enough. I didn't feel it was enough for it, but uh, it is what it is. So let's just take a look into this so I can get started on this damn game, man. I, I want to play this game really badly. So if we pop this game open, obviously right here, we have the pre-order bonus, which everyone should get. And, you sh and it gives you the ability to fly the atomic blimp. That looks awesome. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to fly a blimp in GTA, but we'll make it work. Alrighty, and you have your GTA 5 manual. Uh, you can apply this to the social club, which I'll probably be do. I'll probably do, because it tracks your progress, etc, etc. And there's nothing much in here. Not much you need to know. It's Grand Theft Auto. That's that. And like in every GTA game, you do get your map of the playing area. And this is of this is Los Santos exclusively, I guess. It, it's just the I'll try and open this as much as possible. You have the main city area here with you know counties. See, there's Vinewood up there. And if we flip it, oh, we have a zoomed out version of the map. All of this is explorable. You can you can go in all of these areas. So just to give you guys an idea how large it is, even these like areas out here I believe the islands you can travel there as well now there's a lot I want to see and people are asking are telling me Dan please don't rush this game make the most out of it go do everything you possibly can and you know what I aim to do that so you guys you're gonna have a long series of GTA right here all right so anyway I'm gonna pop these back in leave this out because I'll be entering the code um, so it is two disc on 360 and a lot of people are like damn why the hell did you get it on 360 if you got it on PS3 you wouldn't have to uh, You wouldn't have to you know install anything. It's just one disc blah blah blah. Well, you know I Just I, I know that when G when was it Grand Theft Auto Online f Goes goes live on the 1st of October. I do prefer the Xbox Live um, service than uh, then uh, the PlayStation, you know, the PlayStation Online service, you know, why, why can't I remember it for some reason? I'm so I feel I feel like I just hit a hit a mind blank here. Um, P PlayStation Network, Jesus, I don't know what that was about, but I do like this better. I think it's a little easier to use, but that's my personal preference. I really don't want to start a fanboy war. It's so pointless. It's GTA Five for God's sake. Let's just enjoy it. But anyway, one of these discs is the actual install disc. I think yeah. See, disc one install, and then disc two is play. And if you now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I've, I've heard this. Rockstar announced it themselves. Do not install both discs. It'll make the game run in like like choppy and crap like crap okay you're only supposed to install disc one and you don't install the play disc there's no point so basically what i have to do right now is get this as soon as I'm, i turn this camera off i'm popping this in and i'm installing gta 5 so i can play it right away because i want to get started man i had i had coffee at this at this time so i could play it for as long as possible before i go to bed and i'll pick it up tomorrow morning and play it like all day and like I mean I'm gonna give you guys some content as soon as possible so let's get started I'm just gonna flip it on the back see what's on the back um, 
Rockstar Games, Los Santos, a sprawling metro. Oh, sorry. There we go. A little lower. There we go. A sprawling metropolis full of self-help gurus, starlets, and fading celebrities struggling to stay afloat in an era of economical uncertainty and cheap cable TV. Amidst the turmoil, three very different criminals risk everything in a series of daring and dangerous heists that could set them up for life. Cool. Alrighty. Featuring Grand Theft Auto Online. The online service for Xbox 360, Xbox Live, obviously. And you can actually go co-op with like up to 16 people, I think, in the online world. But that doesn't come out for about like a, what was it? September, so what, at least, I think two weeks from now, you can't use the online service, which is cool. I mean, I think it's a good idea. You can you focus on the single player first and you move on. So, Grand Theft Auto V, this is the unboxing. I'm, I'm going to get started on this game before I lose my mind. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and favorite it as well. Stay tuned for GTA V. I'm sure a lot of you are playing your own version of the game, but if you want to stick around and watch mine, I'd appreciate that. So thanks, guys. Stay tuned for it. It's coming up as soon as possible, and we'll see you in-game for Grand Theft Auto V.